The Education Channel presents a news update. Language arts usually you don't think of as a STEM subject. How do you integrate technology into your language arts classroom? Technology is super important. You know, it doesn't really depend on you know what subject. In the case for today, we're using Padlet.com. So language arts is all about discussion and, and sharing ideas and emotions, and it's a great forum you know, to get every voice heard in the classroom. I use Twitter in many different ways. One of the ways is to keep parents informed about what's going on in the classroom. Another way is to connect with other teachers that are using Twitter and to share ideas about um, learning and student work in the classroom. The tech book I really like because it allows students to um, interactively I guess um, apply what they're learning in the class. The tech books involve a lot of dragging and dropping, identifying, having to explain. It really allows them to get in, work at their own pace. Why do you like using laptops and tech books to learn? Because it's easier and I can replay it over and over again. Tell us a little bit about how you integrate technology in your math classroom. This is our um, TI Inspire CX calculator and what we, we've been using these primarily this year for um, data collection. We can actually send them an exam. We've been doing our common assessments on them and they can type in all their answers and then we get them back and we give them instant feedback on that. It's much more interesting to the students to, to do it that way rather than putting their answers on a piece of paper, waiting three days for the teacher to grade them and then getting their paper back and then forgetting what the work was even about by that time. Tell us a little bit about the format of your class classroom today. You've got stations going on. Tell us how that works and how the kids like it. Kids love stations. Today the same thing's going on. It's photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Okay, so the carbon from the air originally before it turned into the oxygen, it goes into the leaves with light energy and water. But all those three things actually turn into glucose, which is a special sugar, which um, energizes the flower and keeps it alive. We use a lot of technology if we can. We do BYOD as much as we can, at least you know two to three times a week if we can get the kids to have their devices. We have iPods, uh, we have laptops now that are accessible to us. We try and just get the kids excited about it because they are absolutely are always on their phones anyway. They love technology, so we incorporate it into our curriculum as much as we can. Why do you like using that to learn? Well, because it's a lot easier than just, um, well, researching it yourself and then you have the resources right there in front of you, so it saves you a lot more time. Tell us why you feel STEM is so important. Because it's such a part of students' everyday lives. I don't think it's fair to have a classroom that doesn't involve what students are doing on their own. You know, what they're doing once they get home, they're, they're using technology. So I think that they should be doing the exact same thing in the classroom. 